All right, here it goes. How do people do this? <laughs> Hey all, Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spiders. This one's going to be very different, hopefully a lot of fun. Uh, recently I was challenged by Pecco from the Dark Den to participate in his hot sauce tarantula feeding challenge. Basically, we're not feeding the tarantulas hot sauce. What it means is you are to feed your tarantulas and do a feeding video, and for every tarantula that doesn't eat, you have to take a bite of something with some ridiculously hot hot sauce on. Anyway, here's the clip. But in particular, this challenge goes to tarantula kit to Tarantula Dan, to Dion. I also want to challenge them to see how he can handle spicy food. So obviously I had to accept, I was sitting down to eat a bowl of macaroni and cheese with Frank's Red Hot when I saw the video. So definitely in this one. So what's gonna follow is the actual challenge, which is 10 spiders, some hot sauce, and a little bit of tears, quite frankly. Again, thanks so much Petco for inviting me to do this. Very excited about it. And if you guys haven't checked out the other videos, Tarantula Cat's taken part, Tarantula Dan's taken part, just a lot of cool stuff and a lot of fun. So I'll include links to those in the actual description of this video. So enough of me talking. Let's get into feeding some tarantulas and possibly burning our mouth in some hot sauce. All right, so here we go. The moment I've been dreading secretly for a couple weeks now, this is going to be my participation in the hot sauce tarantula challenge. Now, to be clear, we're not feeding tarantulas hot sauce. What we have to do here is I have 10 tarantulas that I have to feed that Billy was nice enough to pick out because unfortunately I know which ones are gonna be in pre-malt, although I don't have many in pre-malt, so I'm hoping I can come through this almost unscathed. And what I have to do is feed the tarantulas. If the tarantulas don't eat, I have to eat some of this here which is called Da Bomb, Beyond Insanity. My 16-year-old, who is obsessed with trying ghost peppers and stuff, tried it out when I got it, and I should have taped the reaction because it was amazing, and while I was laughing at him, I realized it's not so funny anymore because this is going to be me. So what we have here is 10 tarantulas, one jar, or one jar of hot sauce, and potentially a very sore hiney the next day. So I'll admit, I like hot food, I like hot sauce on things, but I'm a little worried about this stuff because I tried a drop of it and it was absolutely brutal. And I don't mind admitting that I eat food because I enjoy tasting it, not because I want ulcers. So Petco, seriously, I do appreciate this. I thank you so much for allowing me to participate. Although I got a funny feeling at the end of this video, I'm not gonna be quite so thankful. So what we did here, we picked a bunch. I did, full disclosure, there was one Billy picked that I didn't want to use. She loves the HMAC. And the problem with the HMAC is I'm positive the thing's gonna feed, but we're not gonna catch any video of it. I figured there's no use doing a feeding video where I'm just gonna have to go see that little tunnel in there that thing's eating. So we did take that one off. I didn't, it's not so much a cheat thing. It's just, I didn't think it would make for a good feeding video. So she did grab some good ones. I. I think we have a good possibility of everything eating here and me not having to do the hot sauce. I do have chicken for it, which is cold. Oh, gross. So this is just not gonna be very pleasant overall. So here we go. We're starting off with C Versicolor. This is one of the babies I raised and produced. Hopefully my light holds out. We're gonna kick on my other camera here, which should have already been on and I've already screwed up. So what I'm going to try to do here is we're going to try to have two cameras going because we're going to try to catch the feeding and then we're going to try to catch my expression if it doesn't go well. Please eat. I know this one's hungry. It's a matter of whether or not it comes up. Oh God. Tell me if you see something please because... Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, this is so unfair. Oh, for crying. Come on, it was out earlier looking for food. Can we try the other side or something? No, this is it's. Mm -hmm. I know it's hungry. Come on. Come eat.
You've got to be kidding me. Not a good beginning at all. This is not fair. <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh, thank you. I don't. Can you see it? Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was Ooh, scary. Dear God. <laughs> All right, I jumped. Woo! All right, dodged a bullet with that one. She ate. I knew she was hungry. I, my biggest fear on this is that some of the ones that are hungry, what'll happen is I'll drop crickets in. They're a little afraid of the light, and then they won't eat right away, and that's what I'm afraid is going to happen here, and I'm going to be left eating chicken and then only to discover, or eating hot sauce, only to discover that they ate afterwards. So I'm going to slide over here. Thank you, girl. Anybody that doesn't eat, you'll see them listed for sale. <laughs> All right, right here, you have the tea ochre tea. This one's going to be a little trickier to get because she's probably going to hunt it down in here. Okay. So I'm going to try to get... Let me zoom this one in here. All right, here we go. No, no, you're going that way. Please. <laughs> so people ask me, Tom, why don't you do as many feeding videos as other YouTubers? You've got to be kidding me. You know, when you grab this one, I'm like, this is a sure fit. She's hungry. I know she's up, 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 up. Oh, thank gosh. Oh, thank gosh. There we go. Did you get that? I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit with mine. And that's zooming out. So that is Thrixopelma ocrity. Love these little guys. Hoping for a female on this one. And she is in there with a cricket in her mouth, which means I dodge a bullet once again. I don't mind admitting, like, this is really stressing me out. <laughs> like, this is, like, I love feeding, and this is almost like I'm going to get punished if something doesn't do. It's okay. All right, round three. This one's going to eat. This one's a stone-cold killer. This is my B. albopelosum Nicaraguan. And we're going to grab a couple crickets. She's a piggy. Okay, you're going to eat that cricket. And I didn't get that on my primary camera here, so there's a little more. There we go. Oh, thank gosh. Oh, that one got away, but... There we go. Brachypelma, Nicaraguan. This was a good one. I figured this one would eat. The next one... I may be in trouble. As a dog shakes off in the background, just in case you forgot, this is a Tom's Big Spiders video, so there'll be dog licking, <laughs> farting, scratching, clicking, and I don't even care anymore. It's just people that watch my videos. Anybody that's come over from the other channels, I apologize, but that's kind of what I'm known for now. Well, in information too. But. All right. This one here is Homeoma species Blue Peru. I will say right off the bat, I have a funny feeling this one won't eat right away. What is the rule? I mean, I have a funny feeling what's going to happen. We're going to drop it in. It's going to be scared. It's not going to eat. And then it's going to eat later on. So I still have to do this? Well, maybe leave it on the table for a little bit and come back to it see if it eats. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. This one just molted, so I was hoping it would be... All right, we're just going to take that out and not put it on the chicken. That would be extra gross. Oh, thank gosh. Uh -huh. There's some of that blue on the femurs. Gorgeous species. I love these guys. Homeoma species Blue Peru. All right. 
How many is this now? Nine? No, 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 no. Four. Right. Next up. And some of these I will probably go back and give, like the one I'm about to do. I think I'm going to have to go back and drop in a couple. Actually, we'll drop a few more in now. This one last time, again, didn't eat right away. And it's looking a little chubby, so I'm a little worried. All right, so what we have here is Grandma Stola Polkra, our Kira guy. Probably a Kira guy. All right. Oh, uh, that's not a good sign. There's one of the crickets I dropped in. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh. oh, no. All right, well. That is not a good sign. I thought it ate last time eventually. Let me try one more. Please eat. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ah, I thought I was going to be able to beat this. Everybody's always asking about those, so I thought it would be a good one to feed. When Billy pulled it down, I'm like, that's perfect. Oh, boy. All right. Can't believe this is going to be online. I don't even like the smell of this stuff, honestly. Now, I will say um, Petco put some little tiny drops on it. Tarantula Cat and her husband ate it, said it was hot, but they looked like they were, like, eating a piece of cheese, like nobody even reacted. Tarantula Dan put a huge dollop on his, but I believe there's a video out there of Tarantula Dan with a buddy naked in the snow, so he tends to do more extreme stuff. There are no videos of me out there naked in the snow that I know of. All right, I'm not doing a big drop of this. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's actually a big drop. All right, here goes. How many did we get through? We got five left. So this is halfway through. All right, here it goes. How do people do this? <laughs> oh, God, it's brutal. Oh, I think I picked the right move because I'm able to, like, kind of hide it in the chicken. I don't want to swallow it. Drink some milk. Are you allowed to drink milk? No, it's not. It's actually not as bad. I think I picked a good thing with the chicken. Everybody was using crackers, but I eat buffalo wings, so I just figured chicken would be the way to go. All right, it like burns your throat. Like it doesn't go away. All right, there we go. I mean, milk's like lukewarm because it's been sitting out here. Yeah, nice. This is just yeah, gross. All right. All right, that's. I don't know, it's like you can feel it all the way down. Not quite as bad as I was thinking. When I tried it on my finger, it was a lot worse. All right. Okay. Okay. We got this. All right. That wasn't actually as bad as I thought. Except it's still burning. It just, everything burns. It's just not comfortable. All right. Ugh, I'm sweating like a pig right now. All right, so anybody that is interested in a nice G. Polkra <laughs> likely male, that one gets sold now because, all right, this one better eat because she molted a few weeks ago. My grandma stole a earringi. Earringi? Oh, God. I don't know how people do that. It's just an uncomfortable burn. I'm going to zoom in on this girl a little bit. And she's a piggy, so I'm going to drop a couple in with her.
Yes. Okay. Thank God. And another. And, well, J2. My counts. I think she just got the third, actually. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Cricket burrito. Pretty girl. Beautiful. What doesn't show up on these is there's almost a bluish sheen to it. It looks, it probably you looks black. It, but, okay, I was going to say, it's it's like a deep metal blue or something. Oh, my God. <clears throat> and she is beautiful. Ugh. It's like just <laughs> in the back of my throat. It's like gritty. All right. It's like, wait for it. It doesn't click right away. Although I tried to like use my tongue to wrap it in chicken. So it's just gonna oh, yeah. burn my posterior. All right, this here we have Oh, I'm, I'm lining up my camera and, and not talking. Mm. Baby. I keep telling baby. The real baby, not the hybridized one I have. I'm going to back this off. She's usually an amazing eater, although she looks very plump, and I'm worried. There you go. Eat it. Eat it. Please eat it. Dude, look at her abdomen. Oh, God. It's looking really it's dark. No. I mean, not the spider, the cricket. Yeah, because the cricket knows it's... I'm sorry, cricket, it's you or me. It comes down to the cricket or my GI tract. There we go. Yes. Oh, thank gosh. Awesome. All right. Honestly, when you pulled her out and I looked at her, I figured she was probably in pre-mold. Sorry, no commentary there because I'm drinking more milk because my throat still burns. All right. So that's Brachypelma, Baby. I didn't say Grandma stole a baby, did I? I'm still kind of... I think you just said Baby. Baby? All right. <clears throat> I'm a little uh, out of it. There's one in the water dish. Remind me to pull that one out later. All right, who do we have here? Oh, this one's a little nuts. This is my B. Oratum. So I'm going to try to carefully drop a cricket in because this one is bolted before. Oh, perfect. Thank gosh. And one more. There we go. Sweet. All right. We got two left here. And I don't, I'm not ashamed to admit I hope they all eat because I don't want to do this again. It hurts. And my nose is running. If anybody sees liquid start dripping into it, it's probably snot from my nose right now. Nice. I'm just trying to be, you know, so totally transparent with awesome. people. Okay. All right. Who next? <clears throat> I'm going to cover the mic because i got to clear my throat. <clears throat> just getting over a cold. Be classy. This one, it was, oh, boy. Oh boy. Well, the good news is she molted and she's got her adult colors and she is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to zoom in while Billy hopefully gets in on her end. The bad news is that right there, which does look sexable, that's good. But unfortunately, means that she is not going to eat because I believe she just molted yesterday. So I'm not even going to bother harassing her with dropping a cricket in. Instead, I'm going to take this like a man. <laughs> you know, you grabbed her, and I, did, I knew she was in pre-molt, but... You kind of just told me to pick what I wanted, so... Well, Sorry. I, I thought she might be okay because she was eating. She seemed to be in heavy pre molt for quite a while, but she kept eating. Oh, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. 
The only good part is my eyes were all watery from being sick beforehand, so. Oh, God. I just don't want to put as much on as last one. Oh, God. All right. There's a dollop. Why is it worse? <laughs> Taking the burn again. Oh my god, <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> Usually, with this, shit. <laughs> and we'll edit that out. We're gonna have to bleep out. <laughs> Usually, with this stuff, it, you get more use to it. We baby Jesus in a manger. All right, you get one more. <laughs> oh. All right, full disclosure. Ooh. It's not as bad as I was expecting it to be, but it's not a comfortable burn. It's a tomorrow morning I'm going to be wailing on the toilet type of burn where you know that <laughs> it's going to subside in your mouth, but it's going to work through the GI tract like one of those ones in the middle of the night. Sorry, probably TMI, but this is killing me. Holy crap. All right. Oh, it's Milk. it's the throat. It's like tasting scotch. <laughs> should have done beer or something, probably. Hmm? You say taking, doing, doing it with beer is better than doing it with milk. No way. The water activates it. So if you take it with water, it totally kills you. It's always um. fatty stuff. Oh man, it, or though apparently milk does it. Milkshake maybe? Ugh! Ugh. Hey. Oh, there goes the nose, sorry. This is like old days when grown would do it and you'd have all the sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just not comfortable. It's not, I have to say, it's not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. I am feeling a little bit more manly now, but I'm also sweating like a pig. That's manly. Oh, it's not as gross. <clears throat> I don't perspire. I sweat. <sighs> All right, one of my faves, who's also looking very, this is going to, this is not going to be good because she's looking really fat too. So this is obviously Grandma Soul Poker Peas, the Chaco Golden Knee. I've been doing a lot of writing about lately because I'm doing a beginner species video and obviously this one made it. And I'm doing an actual husbandry video on them because I love them so much. And we'll see whether or not I still love this one when I'm done. And I love you <laughs> so much. Thank gosh. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Try not to drop snot in the freaking cricket bucket. I'm gonna drop in another one for her. There you go. <clears throat> God, where did that come from? It like just keeps hitting in waves, like it goes away. All right, this isn't fair. Stop the press. This one just shut off. See, it's not just me. Is it out of batteries? Might be out of batteries. Okay, I got this one. All right, so hopefully that recorded, although Billy's got them all if it didn't. Oh, I should charge that battery. So I just want to point out exactly what I feared was going to happen. Notice she has a cricket, or he has a cricket in his mouth. Well, now I really want to sell it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can see there, cricket in the mouth, beautiful spider. I could take that classified ad down now. Yeah, that one's that one's keeping. Uh, what the? Heck? I knew this was going to happen, so I did two of them. <sighs> okay, well. There we go. I survived. There's chicken left. It's 
do one more. That way nobody can make fun of me. This is one that's going to edge in it. I know. This is tomorrow morning it's when I'm... It's not good, yeah. I'm doing a little air drop, though. A little easier that part with a tissue. Okay, not a little easier. It takes a minute to hit. I don't want snot running down my face. Just do like the Blair Witch thing. <laughs> Perfect for Halloween. It gets, I think it gets easier. It, it's, I don't know, it's weird because the first one, I didn't think it was that bad. The second one is, oh, okay, here it goes a little bit. I have to say, though, I enjoy eating. I really do. And I enjoy eating stuff that's spicy. But I don't understand going through pain to eat. Like, it's an enjoyment thing. I eat my feelings. I get sad, I eat. I get depressed, I eat. This would just be more pain in my life. It doesn't have time to smoky flavor. Type, but, oh. It's the throat part that kills me. It's like the mouth. I can deal with my mouth being hot. That only works for like two seconds. All right. We did it. We survived. I'm not going to joke around. We've been dreading it. Well, I've been dreading it because feedings are relaxing for me, and I figured this was going to be terrible. It wasn't quite as bad as I thought, although it's killing me right now. Ooh, it just like comes in waves. So anyway, we did 10, right? Yes, we did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. All right, we did 10. My eye's twitching. That's a new one. It's starting to burn really bad now. Oh, Base. good call. <laughs> All right, so we did it. I survived the hot sauce tarantula feeding challenge. Again, awesome job to everybody that did it. I've, I've had the opportunity. Of, I went to do this last week. My goal was to do it last week, but unfortunately, I had a really bad cold, and it just wasn't going to work out. It was going to be terrible. Oh, this is awful. But uh, I got to see some of the other videos. Guys did a great job. And Tarantula Cat and her husband just like took it like they're making me look like a total baby here. And then obviously Daniel with the big dollop on it. That was impressive. But hopefully, my God, it just keeps coming. Hopefully I was able to hold my own there. So thank you so much, guys, for, you know, everybody that participated. It was cool to be able to participate with you. And obviously, Petco, thanks so much for inviting me to do this. I do still appreciate it. I'm still excited about the fact that you asked me to do it. I'm not angry. Um, although tomorrow morning that may change once this gets through my stomach. So anyway, this was a lot of fun. I'm going to go now and cry in private. All right. So again, a huge thank you to Petco from Dark Den for inviting me to this challenge. That was a very cool surprise and I very much appreciate it. Had a lot of fun with this. Obviously, um, a little something different for me. Not used to feeding tarantulas when my nose is running and dripping all over the place and when I'm sweating and when my mouth is burning. But um, it, it shows I can keep that zen-like concentration even through all that. So if you haven't checked out any of my videos before, this isn't usually what I do, but it's been a lot of fun. You can check out ones here and here. And if you liked it enough that you'd like to subscribe, very much appreciate it. You can click the little circle right up there. As always, please leave comments. I answer every comment I get. I love hearing from people. Hopefully I'll get some new comments from some new people and I'll be able to talk to those of you who have been around for a while so you can make fun of me for taking part of this challenge and almost crying on camera. So as always, thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.